happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Hey, get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Today I'll be reviewing the Radio Relay Foxhole Radio Kit. I purchased this kit from eBay for a total of $14.50 from England, and it's a crystal radio set. I love crystal radio sets. I'm always on the lookout for something new and different. Uh, my previous video, I did the uh, House CR5. Love that radio. Um, so I wanted to look for another one, something to do, something for fun, and I found something. So let's check it out together. All right, so the box, you can tell, I took off my address, so you guys can't find me. <laughs> um, a little bit coming from Great Britain there. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we're greeted with some basic instructions. We have a uh, earpiece. We have some components. Looks like a supply and uh, wire for an aerial. Some hookup wire to the card and to the aerial and ground. They give you four of these alligator clips. There's one missing in the bag because I started building my ground wire already. We have a holder for the radio and a clip for that radio, I believe. So you can possibly hang it when you're outside or inside of a tent, maybe. So nice, they did that. And then we got the PCB right here. Let's get the box out of the way. So this little guy measures three and a quarter inches long, two and one eighth inches tall and a thickness of one millimeter. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, we have an aerial connection, an earth connection. We have an etched aerial in, built inside the PCB, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, D1 is our diode. It's Germanian. Um, they said it's a Russian military. I have no idea if that's any good or not. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. Um, L1 is a inductor, 470 microhenries. And then over here is going to be our resistor, an 82k ohm resistor. And then we have headphones, headphone jack that goes there. And then here we have variable capacitors. And there'll be two of them of the same value. I believe they're 5 to 50 picofarad. And so we'll have two of those. And what I'll do is I'll put this down and we'll kind of look at the components together and just kind of show you what I just said. So here's our little parts. Here is the diode. So I don't think I really get a good good look at that, but a diode's a diode, right? I mean, I know there's all different kinds out there, but that's their Germanian diode. We have the inductor. And we have the resistor. Headphone jack, just a simple plastic one. And then here are the two little variable capacitors that go on the board and you adjust them with the screwdriver. So pretty awesome. There it is. It's going to be awesome when it's built. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do some movie magic and I'm going to come back with this fully assembled. Okay, I just finished soldering the radio relay foxhole radio kit. And I kind of wanted to go over some of the tools I used to do that. If you have basic soldering skills, it's a breeze. Uh, these are some of the things I like to use. Uh, on my board, I like to prep all my solder points with the old school paste flux, the rosin paste. Um, this works out really good. It's waxy. It's not that liquid uh, pen style. Uh, I prefer this. And I use the toothpicks to apply the paste where I need it. So those items work really well for me. I used a pair of curved pliers, like needle nose pliers. Kind of use this to turn those little leads. Um, I'm still trying to use my finger. I try to use my fingers, but the uh, you'll find if you build this kit, the inductor coil was actually kind of, kind of difficult. So I had to use this just to bring it a little tighter. Just go gradual, don't go crazy. So you don't want to crack or break anything off. But uh, I use these to help bend those leads in into place so they go through the board properly. Here's a solder I used to solder them. 
light duty, um, I, the 6040, and I, I use this real thin, thin style. That's the diameter. And then there's the model number if they still make it. So I always have this stuff on hand. I love it. Works great for most small projects. Um, okay, soldering iron. I use this really cool Weller 25 water. It's, it's a pro version, I guess, or something like that. I don't know what they call it. Let's see. Weller HE25. I use this for everything. Um, as you can tell, I use a small tip to clean it up. But uh, replaceable easily with this little screw nut here. And uh, yeah, I've had this for years, and it's been been very good for small small projects like this for doing radio kits and that. So great little iron. If you find one like this, I'd recommend it. You'll have years and years and years of use out of this thing. It's really good. Um, at the end, when the project is done, I use these side cutters. Use safety glasses. Um, I think these are testers, like a small modeler ones. They got a nice flat edge here where you can take and just trim off the, the little leads. As you see, I got a little extra there. So that's what I used to kind of trim up the back. And then, of course, you can see my headset there. This is, I think, a three power headset lens number five. These are really nice. Um, I think they sell for around 40 bucks, but a good investment. I'm trying to remember the name of the company here. It's like a jeweler's headset. Can we read that? Yeah. Is that Donegan? Donegan Optical? Made in USA. Hey, you don't see that every day. Cool. So, yeah, I use this. This is really handy. Flips down. You get a good view of what you're doing, you know, stereoscopic. So, handy to have that headset. And let's see what we have here. So, the kit. All right. As you can see, I also like to clean the board up. When you use that paste, it tends to run a bit and kind of discolor the board. So I cleaned it up with some 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol with some Q-tips and uh, cleaned up some most of the flux there. Tried to get my joints clean. Um, the pads are very easy to solder to. The tricky one, uh, like I said, the inductor, getting that placed well in there because um, you can see how tight the fit is. Um, the diode was easy. The resistor was easy. These were really easy. They had uh, little tabs that you could bend on the bottom to hold them in place which was you know handy there. Uh, the headphone jack uh, I was a little nervous with doing this one because it's plastic maybe or I think it might be nylon so if it's nylon it's better I was worried about getting it too hot and melting in this so I was trying to be really quick with that. So those joints are good uh, they don't look as smooth as the others but I didn't spend a lot of time and a lot of heat in that area because I didn't want to melt anything so but there is the kit all ready to go on the back side you can see I trimmed off all the leads because it's soldered from the front not from the back that's cool and they give you this neat little holder and I believe it just slides in I'm gonna see if we can fit this in here might be a little difficult we'll see if we can get it to go Yeah, it's, it's a nice little holder once you get it in place. We'll see about getting it in here. There we go. That clicks into place. Really nice. So there it is. Finished the radio relay. And tonight I'm going to hook it up to an earth. I'm going to try it with the internal and see if anything comes through. And then I'm going to try an aerial. I don't have a really long one set up. I might be able to do a 50 foot wire kind of strung around a little bit, uh, but I think I'm going to have to start with a smaller aerial, maybe like a 30-footer, see if that picks up anything. Um, but we'll hope, hopefully we do. So what I'll do is we'll end the video here, and I will give you a reception report, hopefully in a second follow-up video. Uh, but before I do, I will have a description, a details, uh, where to buy this, what the seller is, and then you'll notice he has this, and he has a variety of other radios that you can build, I think is neat. He has a matchbox style one, which is like, I don't know, like that big crystal radio set. I'm kind of tempted to buy it. It looked really cool. So it fits in those little matchbox size. So pretty neat. I think you, you don't have the internal aerial, and you have one less capacitor there. But, I mean, 
a crystal radio that big pretty cool so but yeah i'll go ahead and put all that in the inf details down below and you can check that out and then i will give you a follow-up video on reception uh in a few days okay thanks for watching bye bye